Anthony Davis unfortunately only made it about halfway through the first quarter before having to leave the game because of his groin injury. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. The play that finally did it for Davis wasn't even the most severe kind of position and stress on the adductor. Here he's trying to keep up with Devin Booker and this initial first step here, you can see how he actually does turn a little bit. And so in this position, remember those adductor muscles sit here on the inside of the leg and they're gonna act to bring the leg in this way. So as he goes down the lane, he does swing that leg across. And so it's possible that that step was certainly painful. But then as he's continuing to go here, those adductors are also going to work in terms of hip flexion to bring that knee up and then also to rotate the foot inward. And so the fact that even these movements were painful for Davis tells us a lot about kind of where he was. Now we can see here as he jumps up off the air, we kind of catch up there. He clearly is in pain here, even after just going up on that jump. So some point here in that transition, probably when he either stepped off right there, that's gonna stretch that adductor muscle was some point when he would have made this worse. Davis's adductor strain has been the talk of the NBA here, especially with the implications of tonight's game. I talked back in my original video how it was very optimistic to think that Davis would be ready, even in a best case scenario in terms of optimal healing time for a groin strain. But we have to remember this is the playoffs, and so the threshold's gonna be different for coming back from an injury, and so you can't entirely fault what Davis and the Lakers were trying to do here. The big concern though is if the Lakers are able to somehow come back and pull off the win tonight, based on what we saw tonight, I can't see how there's any way he'd be ready for a game seven, even potentially into round two. But of course you don't get to game seven unless you win game six. So this is the conundrum that these teams find themselves in in these situations. Davis was clearly not moving well from the tip. We heard Chris Haynes report before the game that there was basically no chance that AD could make the injury any worse by playing. And I really have to disagree with that. Not only do you worry about the initial strain in terms of those tears of the muscle fibers expanding and then being a more severe tear, but whenever a player is trying to compensate because of pain in one part of their body, they put other parts of their body at risk. So it's not just about that muscle injury, it's about how these types of injuries can affect the rest of your kinetic chain. We have to understand the biology of what's happening when these muscle injuries heal. Initially, you have a blood clot or a hematoma that forms in the space of that torn muscle fiber. But then you start to lay down some connective tissue called collagen that acts as a sort of scaffold for these stem cells to come into that area and form new muscle fibers, sort of working onto that scaffolding. When you exacerbate that tear, you damage that scaffolding and you run the risk of making that hematoma hematoma bigger and developing potentially more scar tissue there in this whole healing process. So like I said, if the Lakers do come back and pull this off, based on what we've seen tonight, I don't know how there's any way that Davis can be near a functional level for a game seven. To finish up here, we have to be realistic with all this. It's the playoffs, it's an elimination game, and so of course Anthony Davis is gonna do absolutely everything he can to get back out there on the court, even if that means he's playing through a little bit of pain. But as Grant Hill pointed out really well in the broadcast, there's a difference between being hurt and injured. A lot of guys at this stage of the season are hurting, but if you've got a true injury, that's where things get different. We also can't overlook all the noise that Anthony Davis has been hearing his whole career about being named Street Clothes and Mr. Glass and all of his susceptibility to get hurt. I'm sure that was feeding into his head here and as they were trying to get him back on the court. It does show toughness, it shows grit to wanna to get back out there and try to play through the pain as best as he can, but Unfortunately, you can't outpace mother nature. You can't outpace biology. At the time of finishing this recording, he's still listed as questionable. The second quarter is underway. And I really hope for his sake, he doesn't try to come back in and risk something getting even worse. That's it for this video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below. I hope you can appreciate how difficult these situations can be, especially because of the circumstances of a playoff game, let alone an elimination game compounded with everything else here. We can armchair quarterback and second guess what the Lakers and AD were doing all day. But at the end of the day, these are the experts they know him best and so you have to give some level of trust to what they're doing in these situations until next time i'll see y'all later